Look at stock ticker symbol BAA, currently traded at 26 cents. This one was brought to us over on YouTube and investorshangout.com forward slash live. Right now, you guys are currently hitting a resistance level. It looks like is going to be at the 2.6 area. Let me go ahead and put that line in here since this is the first time going over it. Um, now, to get a better understanding of how this works. So basically, this level right here is a key level. You guys bounced on it here, and when you fell through, you guys completely fell through. Uh, you guys worked your way back up. You couldn't hold it, fell back through, and now you're touching it again. Um, to tell you guys straight up and honest, 2.6 is going to be the area. That's going to be the key level that you need to get to. The RSI is starting to sw swap up to the 53, and the Bollinger Bands are starting to uh, time up. And then on top of that, you've got the simple day moving averages completely under it now. So I think that time might be here. So I really like the fact that you brought this over to us. This was uh, definitely one um, uh, to add to the watch list for sure. So you guys are, like I said, at that key level. Um, watch for a break. Watch for a break of the 2.6 area. And if I could add this in here for you guys. So uh, again, 0.26. Watch for a break of 0.26 with buying pressure if this happens it could run i really think that it might be setting up for a move um Again, like I said, I, re I really do feel like that it's setting up for a, a move right now. Uh, but it, that's going to be a key level. It's going to be that 2-6 area that you're going to want to break. Uh, you guys break that 2-6 area with buying pressure, it will definitely start moving. And that is all I have to add for this one, Joe. All right. So their uh, Banro Corporation, they, uh, their latest press release was the uh, on January 11, 2017. They announced their Q4 and record 2016 production results. Which is, uh, you know, it's always good when it's a record result. So I can go and pull through it really quick, I guess you could say. Mining activity, it's basically going through the whole thing, so it's kind of rough. Uh, <laughs> the, the way they broke down the metrics and everything else, like uh, it's saying there's a 51% increase in uh, from 2015 and 2016 for uh, the uh, total materials mined, which is good. But I mean, to for me to read and pick through it all, it's it's tough to just rip through. All right, so they're a Canadian gold mining company focused on the production from the Twang Twangiza Twangiza mine, which began commercial production September first, two thousand twelve, and on production at its second gold mine at Namoya, where commercial production was de declared effective January first, two thousand sixteen. The company's long-term objectives include the development of two additional major wholly owned gold projects, Lugosha and Kamituga. The four projects, each of which has a mining license, are located along the 210 kilometers long Twazinga Zomia gold belt in the South Kiva and Manimia province of the Democratic Republic of Cong of the Congo. All the business activities are followed in socially and environmentally responsible manner. Let's see. All right, so there's a cautionary note to U.S. investors and we're on this thing too. So the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, permits U.S. mining companies in their filings with the SEC to disclose only those material, mineral deposits that the company can economically or legally extract or produce. So, all right, so that's that. That's on that thing. I mean, to read through it, they, they didn't give me like the, the dead set number, so I have to literally sit there and pick through each one. But, I mean, the total ore mined was uh, an increase of 78%. The total ore stacked was an increase of 56%. Uh, head grade it's at like a 1% uh, strip ratio. It's an increase of 17%. And gold production, it's uh, an increase of 95%. So, I mean, overall, this whole company, everything that they're showing in these numbers are, are all like, you know, up there. But I'm not getting an actual number of each thing. 
Like they got the producer combined 50,449 ounces of gold during the fourth quarter of 2016 for 2000. That's which is obviously a lot of, you know, a lot of ounces of gold. So uh, for 2016 annual consolidated gold production of 197, 691 ounces. This production level represents an annual production record for the company. Hmm. So that's that's good. I mean, there's a lot of different numbers. You basically, I go and look at the filings, you know, because what they're giving me is these numbers, and not giving you the the sale ratio of what you know the expenses and everything else. But I mean, if if it's at the 51 percent and the gold being up, uh, you know, the 90. Right. Or the difference in the change is at 23 percent for the gold production. So that that's the thing. This is something we need to sit there and spend more time on than this five seconds, five minutes, you know. But I, it's I recommend definitely looking at it. All right. Well, uh, you know what, uh, Joe? Um, I think that uh gave everybody a good enough starting point. So two six. Okay. Watch for a break of zero. Uh, like I said, two six is going to be the key point. You guys got to break through there. Uh, with buying pressure, if this happens, it could definitely run. So again, that is B A A. Make sure you head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.